everybody. I'm Eric Nix, producer here at Not Scary Farm. So Eric, how did you get started with the Scary Farm? Well, uh, I've been with the team for about four years now. And uh, before that, I've been <laughs> almost a lifelong fan of Not Scary Farm. I've been coming since I was in high school, so like 95, 96. It was probably my first couple of years of coming to Scary Farm. And, uh, and then I've worked in themed entertainment that entire time. And then I got the opportunity four years to join the Not Scary Farm team. And I've been here ever since, and I couldn't be happier. And like you said, Scary Farm's been around since 1973. Mm -hmm. How, what's the challenge to keep it fresh each year for the returnees, lifelongs like us? So, uh, you know, we look at our lineup every year and we find ways to either enhance uh, attractions that have, are coming back after multiple years, or we have a, des a fantastic design team that's always churning out new ideas. And so we have designs sitting on the shelf, just ready and waiting to be uh, to be fabricated. So we just look through the, that notebook and we figure out what's the right thing to do for this year. So you said you've been coming since 95. Do you have a past maze that you've loved? Let's see, uh, probably uh, Carnival of Carnivorous Clowns. That is one that has left an impression on me. I remember how long that maze was and how vivid it was in the, the elephant room and the squishy floor and all just yeah i loved everything about that so yeah that's probably my favorite old, uh, older maze and here we are going into 2021 um of course 2020 we don't talk about anymore <laughs> so what mazes stand out this year what what's the the maze that if one guest comes and can only do one maze would you say do Ooh, that's a toughie it's like trying to pick like your favorite child yeah. or something i don't think you're supposed to do that uh but i would probably say my personal favorite attraction right now is origins the curse of calico which tells the origin story of the streets of calico and i think what makes it so unique is that this was our first example of uh, a maze uh, at the time, a show and a scare zone all supporting the same narrative and, and telling that story around Sarah Marshall and the witch. And you get to see the, the, the true origin of that inside the maze. And then as soon as you walk out, you get to see the result of that curse on the street. And then you get to see uh, in 2019, the hanging, uh, which also supported the same story. Eric, thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you in the fog. See you in the fog.